So I'm at the top of Norton Summit here and I'm putting on some bar fat. This is a, so you can zoom in here. You can sort of see that, it's like a, a jelly sort of uh, gel. And just you take your bar tape off and you sort of slip it on. You can tape, put some tape around there, I'll show you that later. But this is what we're dealing with. It comes in these sort of strips. And these, this is for the, the drops. Now it's optional if you want to put it down there. This is not for something for racing. It's more for like touring, Everesting sort of stuff. That's what it is. So what I'll do is I'll rip a, rip a bit of the end off, rip a bit of the, that end off there. And I'm going to stick it under here and then I'll tape it up. And it just provides a bit of a better junction there. Again, it's not really something you need for any Strava, KOMs or going for PRs. But if you're doing some ultra shit, like Everesting or riding across this country or whatever, then the bar fat can be, uh, just take a little bit of extra buzz and minimise hand fatigue, just a little bit extra. It's made by Specialized, and again, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this my own coin. It's called Bar Fat, and this is the uh, the fat one. This is a 4.5 mil. If you can sort of see that there, I recommend that over the 2.5. So, just good for touring, ultra shit, but uh, not really necessary for you know racing or anything or going really really fast. I don't put this on my fast bikes typically. And then you can use a bit of tape, I actually found this tape on the side of the road, you can use a bit of tape just to hold it in place, in case it doesn't move around, and then tape your bars back up, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to do bar tape, but that's a specialised bar fat, I've been using it for a few years and I rate it, you've got other brands physique as well, I find the bar fat just a little bit more cushy, a bit more durable, but they're all pretty good. And a cheap option would be just a double wrap bar tape, that could be a cheap option as well. And there you go, it looks dodgy, but it fucking works, fucking works. If you do have too much pressure on your hands, so it might be due to your bike setup as well. So you don't rely on heavy gel padding. If you're getting excessive numbness, then have a look at your bike setup. Maybe, maybe riding like this, relax your shoulders, bend your arms. So the, the gel stuff isn't to treat hand numbness. It's more to minimize hand fatigue. So if you're getting excessively numb hands, look at your bike setup before you start adding gel gloves, etc. Okay, so treat the symptom versus the cause. The gel stuff, the gel gloves is to minimize fatigue all right so hand fatigue especially on long stuff so if you're getting excessively numbness then go see local bike fitter and get them to help you out